watching the Beverly Hillbillies on the Catchy Binge. Next weekend, catch up on Green Acres all weekend long, right here on Catchy Comedy. Well, doggy. Buddy Ebsen as Jed Clampett in Return of the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Don't pester. You are a heathen sucker. Ignorant old bum. Aunt Esther. I'd rather be kissed by a snag or two jackass. Catch Sanford and Son. Weeknight starting at 7 p.m. Eastern on Catchy Comedy. Closed captioning is brought to you by Skechers. Massage fit sandals. Check these out. Skechers Massage Fit Sandals that give you a foot massage with every step. The secret is Skechers' patented wave technology that gently massages your foot with every step. Skechers Massage Fit Sandals. Steeldash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. And this Nintendo Switch sold for less than $20. Go to Deal-Dash.com and see how much you can save. At over $4 a blade, shaving every day gets expensive. Harry's 5-Blade Razor offers me a close, comfortable shave. Best part, refills are as low as 2 bucks each, half of what I paid before. Go to harrys.com slash shave to claim your $7 trial. Introducing Mando, the whole body deodorant that I created with all body odor in mind. I'm Dr. Shannon Klingman, and I'm the inventor of whole body deodorant. It's like body odor never even happens, and you're going to be exceptionally stink-free and smell as good as humanly possible. Believe it or not, it is I, Jane Hathaway, Vassar girl, graduate of Radcliffe, former banker secretary, and currently a Washington, D.C. career woman, whom you see riding through the hills in search of Jed Clampett's hillbilly cabin. Oh, yes, I, I know the last time we saw Mr. Clampett, he was living in a magnificent mansion in Beverly Hills. But after Granny went to her reward, as they say, he divided his enormous fortune between Ellie Mae and Jethro and moved back to his beloved hills. At first I was uncertain because the tiny cabin that I remembered had been replaced by a newer and larger one. But I was quickly reassured. Mr. Clampett! Mr. Clampett! You who? Mr. Clampett, are you here? It's Miss Jane. Welcome to the hills, Miss Jane. Uh, here, let me give you a hand. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> my, Mr. Clampett, it's so good to see you. How are you? Fine as frog's hair, and you? Oh, the same, the same. Well, uh, what brings you way out here? Well, it's rather a long story, but I'll begin by saying that I'm working for the government now. Do you tell? Yes, I'm with the Department of Energy in Washington, D.C. We're looking for ways to save gasoline. Well, you sure found it. But ain't that kind of a long ride, bareback and all? Oh, I, I didn't ride all the way from Washington. I borrowed this horse from Shad Heller. Huh? Oh, yeah, this is Lady. Yes, right. Uh, Mr. Clampett, what I'm hoping to find is some of Granny's white lightning. Do, do you suppose there's any around? Might be. She used to hide it in some mighty strange places. Wonderful. Now, you go on in and make yourself to home. I'll take Lady around back. Oh, thank you. Come on, baby.
with this and America's gas tanks, we have solved the energy crisis. Oh. Mr. Clement, I can't get this cork out. You really are hurting for a drink, ain't you? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't want to drink it. I want to take it to Washington. How come? Well, I've been telling the government people how powerful Granny's moonshine is. The president himself is interested. I bet he was hooked on jelly beans. Mr. Clampett, nobody wants to drink it. That's good, because there ain't none to drink. Oh, well, you, you did say there might be some other jugs hidden around here. Yeah, Granny used to stage the stuff all over the place. Oh, come on, then. Let's start searching. Miss Jane, uh... Well, we commence traipsing through the woods and cricks and hollows. Um, maybe we better sit down here a minute, and uh, you tell me some more about this government business. Mr. Cloud, but this country faces a very serious oil shortage. We must find alternate sources of energy. I see. When I described the amazing powers of Granny's White Lightning, the president himself assigned one of his top troubleshooters to the case. Is that a fact? He sent us to the West Coast on Air Force One. No. Yes. What's Air Force One? The president's very own plane. Oh, what a thrill. Just the two of us alone in that enormous jet. Good looking rascal, was he? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. In fact, Mr. C.D. Medford turned out to be a rather pompous, stuffy, self important individual, but very, very efficient. The president said to me, C.D., we've got to lick this energy crisis. When you get to California, I want you to hit the ground running. Yes, I can just hear him say it. <laughs> Incidentally, my initials C.D. actually stand for Charles David. But do you know what I'm called around the Oval Office? No, what? Can do. Oh, how very impressive. I have a motto, Miss Hathaway. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. The difficult I do immediately. The impossible takes a little longer. Didn't the Nixon administration use They the... stole it. Oh, I am sorry, sir, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, perhaps I can get you something from the bar. Oh, no, never. Total abstinence is a vow I made to my beloved Hannah. Your wife? My mother. Oh, you... Thanks to her advice, I'm wed only to my career. And let me tell you, it's a marriage made in heaven. I love serving my country. Yes, I can see that. For her, I've forsaken all others. In sickness, in health, for richer, for poorer. Till death do us part. You are the most dedicated man I have ever met. Thank you. And now, if I may, I would like to pay you the highest compliment within my power. No, <laughs> please do. You remind me of my mother. Oh. So, as you could imagine, it wasn't exactly a romantic flight to California. <laughs> Did you see Ellie Mae and Jethro out there? Oh, yes, that's why we went. Oh, and they both send you their dearest love. Well, I reckon it's about time we start looking for Granny's moonshine. Oh, right. Let's try the smokehouse first. Tell me, uh, is Jethro still running that movie studio out there? Oh, thanks to your generosity, Jethro is the happiest producer in Hollywood. Good. In fact, he sent a limousine to meet us at the airport and take us to the studio. Well, doggies. Did you see that? The red carpet is out for us. Ah, uh, the crimson carpet leading us into a den of iniquity. Den of iniquity? Oh, I know all about Hollywood. The orgies, the nude swimming parties. Mother calls it Sin City. I loathe being here. Chin up, sir. Remember our purpose, our sacred quest. We are here to find a formula that will help free our country. Yes, you're right. As a matter of fact, Miss Hathaway, I have a motto. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Didn't President Harry Truman... He stole it. Catch all the laughs. Every time I open my mouth, my family disappears. <laughs> on Mama's Family. Weekdays starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. On Catchy Comedy.
I was always skeptical of credit cards, but I also know it's the best way to build your credit. As an entrepreneur, that's essential. So I got the Chime Credit Builder card. There's no annual fee, no interest, and no credit check. My score has gone up over 100 points. Check it out at Chime.com. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm a Mixed Styles mom. Mixed Styles allows me to cherish the most beautiful moments of my family, like Jenny's first day of school and her second and third. Wow, that, that's a lot of Mixed Styles. You just peel and stick. And Jessica, who just started taking ballet classes. I hate ballet. She's into soccer now. So I upload photos straight from my phone, choose the size and style. And that's it. But look, it leaves no damage. Go to MixedStyles.com and order yours today. First time in prison? Yeah. Have you been inside before? Yeah, twice. Have you ever tried to tell anyone why you did it? What's wrong? Tell me your story. You got one? Oh, yes. I love you a lot. If you loved us, you wouldn't be in jail. That woman is a wreck, and she deserves a bit of compassion. I'm pregnant. What? So this is the playground. Did you just go easy on pregnant women? I got this KitchenAid stand mixer for only $56. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. Take a pea-sized amount. Apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? If anyone has told you that gaining weight, feeling tired, and struggling with nagging digestive and joint issues is just a part of getting older, they are wrong. My name is Dr. Stephen Gundry, and after years of struggling with these same issues, I found a new way to support my health at home by making one simple change to my diet. It's called BioComplete 3. BioComplete 3 works by restoring your gut health from the inside out. This is a major part of how I lost 70 pounds and have kept the weight off for 25 years. It's not just me. This is working for everybody. Joe helped his gut health, and you can see the changes, not just how he looks on the outside, but how much better he felt on the inside. I was 270. I'm now 140. It just feels amazing. Thank you, Dr. Gundry. I helped all these people achieve incredible changes to their weight, their digestion, even their skin. And for a limited time, you can try BioComplete 3 risk-free for 90 days. Go to guthealthsecret.com. I received a call from a life alert dispatcher. He told me that my mom activated the life alert and she was having chest pain and he had dispatched the paramedics out to the house. 70% of the people with the same type of blockage that my mom had in her heart die. But because life alert acted quickly, the paramedics were able to get to my mom. She was able to get immediate medical attention and her life was saved. Life alert saves a life every 11 minutes. With one simple touch of a button, life alert sends help immediately. Whether it's to report a fall, a medical emergency, or an intruder, life alert sends first responders fast. The most trusted name in emergency response services. For information or a free brochure, call 1-800-617-1940. 1-800-617-1940. Please make yourselves comfortable. JB has left orders that you're to have anything you wish. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. My, movie producers certainly work in opulent surroundings. Disgraceful. The president himself doesn't enjoy such luxury. Well, that's show business. <laughs> Monkey business. <laughs> they call themselves filmmakers. I call them filth makers. They squander millions on movies depicting sex, violence, nudity, while we plead for pennies to save our country. They are depraved, we are deprived. You do have a gift for turning a cogent phrase. Someone will steal it. What these decadent hedonists need is strict censorship, another Will Hayes. But I don't dare take Mother to a movie these days. She'd have a heart attack. They claim to have ratings to protect us. G and PG. Do you know what they stand for? G stands for garbage. And PG stands for pornographic garbage. 
Calm down now, Mr. Medford, here. Oh, thank you. Come on. Why, you do get a bit hot under the collar. I can't help it. It turns my stomach. This whole sordid business of motion pictures. <laughs> well, may I remind you that our president was once a participant in this business. I have a motto, Miss Hathaway. I thought you would. Kings and presidents can do no wrong. May I name a few who have? You may not. Welcome to Hollywood, sweeties. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Got tied up on a set. It's good to see you, Miss Jane. Oh, it's good, good to see you, too, Jethro. Uh, Jethro, this is Mr. C.D. Medford from the Department of Energy. How do you do? Doing great, sweetheart. You ever been on a movie lot before? No. Oh, you got a thrill coming, baby. It's the most exciting business in the world. I hold on my call, except for Barbara Streisand, uh, Robert Redford, and our Bo Derek. Yes, J.B. It's quite an elaborate intercom system, Jethro. Yeah, it took me a couple months just to learn how to work this sucker. Watch this. This is the button to push when I want to get my cigar lit. Jethro, cigars used to make you sick. Still do, but it's sure fun getting them lit. Revolting. Well, you see what happens now. This is a button to push when one audition dances. This movie producer sure is what you call the good life. Well, what can I do for you? You want to take a tour of the studio? No, no, Jethro. We'll cut this short and get right to the purpose of our visit. Good. I'm getting sick. So am I. Jethro, do you know how Granny made her white lightning? Of course I do. Watched her dozens of times. Wonderful. Be sure your tape recorder is turned on, Miss Hathaway. I Excuse me, J.B. Bo Derek is here to see you. Uh, say I can't be bothered for at least another half hour. Once you get him under contract, you can keep him waiting. You have Bo Derek under contract? Exclusive. Can't work for nobody but me. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Now, about Granny's White Lightning. And, um, I have a cousin who's a great Bo Derek fan. He says of all the figures he's ever seen, that, that Bo's got a build like he won't believe. You want to see it? Well, uh, perhaps an autograph uh, for my cousin? Tell Bo Derek to come in here stripped to the waist. Jethro, no, no, no. Mr. Medford's a very conservative man under no circumstances. Nah, um, show business is uh, show business. <laughs> come in, Bo. Show me figure, Bo. Uh, Bo, before you leave, this fella would like your autograph for his cousin. Never mind. You know every producer in town's trying to find Bo Derrick. I was the only one thought to look at the telephone book. That's how you... There it was. D-R-R-I-C-K. Bo Derrick. Anybody with half a brain could have done it. And did. Can we please get back to the energy solution? I cannot waste government money. Government? You mean this here's a government man? Yes. And I ain't saying another word. Granny heard me telling a secret of her white light into a government man. She's skinned me alive. Uh, Jethro, Granny is in heaven. She has gone to her reward. 
Well, that don't matter. What if her reward is sitting up there watching and listening to me? In no category of religion could that qualify as heaven. No, 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 I'm sorry, Miss Jane. Granny spent her whole life dodging government revenues, and I ain't gonna be no stool pigeon. No, sir, not me. No, no. Jethro, if Mr. Medford were to leave the room, would you tell me the secret? Well, you, you always was like family. True, true. Granny liked you a heap and trusted you. Absolutely. And Uncle Jed trusted you and sold me and Ellie. That makes you unanimous. Mr. Medford, leave the room. I'll have Bo Derek take him outside and keep a hammerlock on him. No, please. I'll, uh, I'll go in there and keep my ears covered. Ears is always gonna keep covered in there. That's my massage room. What? I got a couple of pretty little Japanese gals in there you never did see. Well, I'll tell them that Mr. Metford does not want a massage. Won't do no good. They don't understand no English. They're just gonna take all his clothes off and stick him in a hot tub. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Quickly, Jethro. Tell me how Granny made her white lightning. Okay. Stop that! Hurry. Yes, ma'am. Take your hands off me! Quickly, please! I can tell you in three words. Give me back my clothes! Three words? Yeah, with her still. What did she put in her still? Oh, I don't know. She never would tell me that. This is a day which will live in infamy. I was the victim of an unprovoked and dastardly attack. I was set upon by nymphomaniacal Nike Poos. Calm down, Mr. Medford, here. Oh, thank you. You, you sure let him do the thing, sweetie. Is there a place where I can get dressed alone? In private? Undisturbed? Unmassaged? Unmolested? Uh, that door over in the corner. Thank you. Stage seven to Jethro. Stage seven to Jethro. How many times I got to tell you my handle is Tycoon? Sorry. Either that or genius. Now take your pick. We need you on stage seven, Tycoon. Okay, be right there. Got me a real blockbuster in the works. I call it Jaws and the Godfather make Star Wars on Superman whilst the Empire strikes back with Rocky and Tess. Oh, um, who stars in it? Nobody. With a title like that, who needs actors? <laughs> Off to two ladies who are quite the catch. So what do you think? Terrific. Mary Tyler Moore and Rhoda. Weekdays starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. Dupixent can help people with asthma breathe better in as little as two weeks. So this is better. Even this. Dupixent is an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma. That's not for sudden breathing problems. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Tell your doctor right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change your stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Ask your specialist about Dupixent. Take a pea-sized amount. Apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? I'm tired of overpaying for a close shave. Harry's, I don't have to. Harry's offers five blade closeness and comfort. And refills cost as low as $2 each. Half of what I paid before. Go to harrys.com slash TV to claim your $5 trial. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. And this Nintendo Switch sold for less than $20. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. Special Operations Command Chief Will Markham endured untold pain as a war hero fighting for our freedom. After I received the Silver Star in Afghanistan, I tried everything for pain relief, even CBD, but a small tincture can cost over $100, and it's not approved to do a damn thing. This is Hempvana. It's guaranteed to relieve pain, and it's only $19.99. I put it on, and the pain is gone. Period. Power packed with oil from the cannabis sativa plant and the highest concentration of pain reliever allowed by law to guarantee you relief. 
exactly where you need it. Your neck, knees, back, and more. And unlike some pain pills that may actually raise your blood pressure, Hemvana is safe for adults with high blood pressure. Over 4 million fellow Americans have found real relief from Hemvana. Just listen. My feet always hurt. It's a fact. Hemvana got rid of my foot pain, plain and simple. One minute, I'm not able to do a thing. The next, I'm climbing the ladder, mowing the lawn, working in the garden. Hemvana will give you the freedom to do whatever you want without pain slowing you down. You name it, I've tried it. The only thing that has helped me go all day is Hemvana. So if you want effective pain relief without the high price tag, you need Hemvana. For only $19.99 with absolutely free shipping. And if you don't begin to feel instant relief, send it back for a full refund. Hemvana has joined forces with the Patriot Fund, donating a portion of proceeds to help our veterans. There is a strict limit of two while supplies last. And remember, Hemvana is safe for adults with high blood pressure. Order now. Order now for free shipping. To order, call 1-800-308-9121. That's 1-800-308-9121. Or visit Hemvana.com. So call 1-800-308-9121. Or visit Hemvana.com. Order now. Well, Miss Jane, I'm sorry that Jethro wasn't more of a help to you. Oh, he meant well. Looks like I'm not going to be much more of a help either. The, the cork's out of the jug and... And it's full of water. Where all have we looked so far? Well, let's see the cabin, the smokehouse, the, the, the root cellar, the well. Yeah, Granny used to stash these jugs all over the place in case of an emergency. Emergency? Getting thirsty. Oh. Rest her soul, she did have a fondness for this stuff. Yes, I remember. She used to say, there's corn for grinding and corn for squeezing. When it feels so good, who needs a reason? <laughs> did we try that cave down by the quick? No. Well, on the way, you tell me about Ellie. Did you visit her at our zoo? Yes, thanks to Jethro. I just thought of something. Cousin Ellie might know about Granny's white lightning. Is she at her zoo? Yeah, I can call her on a CB. She carries one of them things around with her. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Because here's genius calling ape woman, genius ape woman. Come in, ape woman. I ain't gonna talk as long as you use that handle. Okay, this here's Tycoon calling Ape Woman. Tycoon to Ape Woman. Come in, Ape Woman. That does it. Goodbye. Well, what's the matter now? I think she objects to being called Ape Woman. Well, that's what she is. She's got apes doing everything out there. <laughs> Linda? Yes, J.B.? Can you help Miss Jane get in touch with my dumb old girl cousin out at her ape ranch? Of course, I'd be happy to. Thanks. Give yourself a raise. <laughs> Actually, Ellie and I are good friends. I babysit for her. Ellie has a baby? A whole bunch of them. Baby tigers, leopards, elephants, wolves, bears. <laughs> she even has a baby chimp. How fabulous! Mr. Medford! Mr. Medford, come quickly! Now, what's happening now? What's all the excitement? <laughs> Ellie Mae Clampett has the most marvelous collection of exotic animals at her zoo. I simply must see them. Miss Hathaway, the president didn't send us 3,000 miles to see a zoo. We're here to find Granny's White Lightning. That's where you'll find it. At the zoo? Granny's White Lightning? Ellie has the last jug of the last batch Granny ever made. She calls it critter medicine. You mean she uses it to doctor the animals? Sometimes. Well, let's get over there before some ailing elephant slurps it up. <laughs> I'm so glad Jethro let you come with us. Oh, so am I. I love Ellie's zoo. Which reminds me, I'd better call and tell her we're coming. Oh, and tell her to save that critter medicine. Hello, Mammoth Pictures. Hi, Judy, this is Linda. Would you put through a call for me, please? Certainly. Somebody picked up the receiver. Hello? Hello, is this Ellie Zoo? Huh?
I hope that isn't Ellie. <laughs> She's probably in her petting zoo. Just about this time every day, Ellie entertains a group of children and gets them acquainted with various baby animals. Now, this looks like a puppy dog, but actually it's a wolf. Now, some folks try to make pets out of wolves, but I don't recommend it. Because no matter how tame they seem to be, they still a wild animal. And any full-grown wild animal can be dangerous. Now, the same advice goes for this pussycat, because it's a leopard. Most leopards have spots, but this here's a rare black leopard. Now, here's something I want you kids to remember and tell you folks that the most beautiful of all wild animals, like the tigers and leopards, are in danger because people kill them to get their skins. I hope nobody here ever wears a leopard coat. And now, we have some special animals that you can touch, pet, and get acquainted with. But remember, touch them with love, be kind and gentle, because animals need love just like people. Aren't we almost there? Only a few minutes more. Maybe you should call again. Right. Hello, Mammoth Pictures. Uh, Judy, will you try Ellie again, please? Certainly. Mr. Medford, your nerves are showing. My reputation is at stake. I must find Granny's brew. Critter medicine. I really don't think Ellie uses it much anymore. She started her zoo to rescue animals that were sick or had been neglected or mistreated. But now she has one of the finest veterinarians in the business. There. Relax. Hello? Hello, is this Ellie's zoo? Uh, 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 uh. I'm afraid it's one of Ellie's critters answering the phone. Probably high on Granny's white lightning. Now, now, calm down, Mr. Medford. I just can't escape the horrible thought that some enormous beast is guzzling our country's energy solution. Mr. Hippo, I've been wondering what to call you. Now I've got it. With a mouth like that, there's only one name that fits. From now on, you're Jethro. <laughs> So fast, Billy. He not so hard to come by. That's it. Share. Now listen here, Raquel. You cheer up. Remember, you got a husband that loves you. And you know it ain't for your looks. Besides, you got the cutest little baby in the whole zoo. You see, when you look sad, it makes Jimmy sad. Don't you worry, Jimmy. Your mama's gonna be this fine and dandy. Hey, Doc. How's all my friends? Well, I'm happy to say we don't have one sick animal. Wonderful. Everybody's healthy and happy. Everybody's healthy. But Bruce doesn't seem very happy. Oh, that's my fault, Doc. I spoiled old Bruce. Well, how'd you do that? Well, when I first got him, he was feeling awful poorly, so I gave him some of Granny's tonic. Oh, and he liked it? He pure loved it! Stood up and danced on his tail! <laughs> well, at his age, I don't think it can do him any harm. You mean I can give him some more? There's only a little bit left. Sure. Give it to Bruce. It'll probably warm his old bones. He's got to be 50 or better. Well, I'll go fetch the jug. He's sure gonna be a happy old fella! <laughs> We're in time. Oh, uh, this is Mr. C.D. Medford. Howdy. How do you do? Is that Granny's white lightning? Well, yes, sir. It's her tongue. Why are you pouring it out? Well, I promise it to Bruce. You tell Bruce he'll have to fight me for it. Why you tell him? Yonder he is. What does he need with tonic? He's feeling poorly. All he needs is orthodontia. That is the worst overbite I've ever seen. I'd have 
fought that alligator. He oh. didn't scare me. Anything to recover the grail. The grail? Grounding's white lightning. Hereafter to be known as Medford's Miracle. With some female assistance. Oh, yes, I acknowledge your cooperation. <laughs> Together we saved our country. If I may paraphrase Winston Churchill, never before have so many owed so much to so few. Oh, yes, Churchill. If this were England, do you realize how I would be rewarded? A knighthood? Hereafter, I would be Sir Charles Medford of Medford Castle. And possibly Lady Jane? <laughs> no. Mother's name is Hannah. Right. Uh, may I be of any further help? Indeed you may. The President will want this flown to the laboratory in Washington by the fastest Air Force jet. But first, we need a smaller container. Uh, do you have a uh, two-ounce bottle, possibly, with uh, some foam rubber? No problem. The studio hospital will have the bottle, and I'll get the foam rubber from wardrobe. It won't take much. I'll tell them a couple of C-cups. Oh, good. <laughs> I've heard of teacups, but what are C-cups? You'd better ask your mother. <laughs> you know, we will never be able to pour from this into a two-ounce bottle. You're right. Let's pour it into this oh. temporarily. I'll just clean it out a little. There. Are you ready? I am ready. Here we go. Gently. And voila. There. Soon it will be on its way to Washington. I must call the president immediately. He'll be overjoyed. Once again, can do has done. I'll just dispose of this can do. <laughs> now, how in blue blazes do you work this crazy thing? I can't keep the president waiting. You can't sit on my... I want you. Please stop that. Please, please, will you stop that? Stop that. I don't want a cigar. I told you I don't want a cigar. I said no cigar. No! Stop it, stop it. There are more of them. I can't stand this. Please, are you crazy? Leave my feet alone. No, no, please, no, that's enough. No, no. What do you do? No. <laughs> are you crazy? No. <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> Stop it, please, stop it, don't stop it. <laughs> I don't want any more. Please, Mother, help me, help, help. Oh, please, that's enough. Help! Sushi, Saki. Sayonara. Sayonara. Also. 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 Sayonara. Uh huh. Uh huh. I deserve a Medal of Valor. Oh. Calm down, Mr. Medford. Oh. I saved this for you. Oh, thank you. Ah! You drank the energy solution, Granny's White Lightning. It's gone. You swore. Oh, quick, kill me. Send my stomach to Washington. Now, now. There's now. an order. Shoot me. Oh, where's the gun button? No, no. Oh, Mr. Bedford, Mr. Oh. Bedford, calm down. Oh. It is not the end of the world. Well, it is for me. Oh, I failed my president. I failed my country. I failed my mother. I'm... <laughs> Mr. Bedford, Mr. Bedford, listen to me. There is still a chance to discover the secret. We'll go back to the hills and find Jed Clapp. And if anybody knows he does, why, there might even be jugs of it hidden around the old cabin or, or in the smokehouse or in the root cellars or... Out of the woods, out in the caves. We shall not surrender, we shall fight on, don't despair. We shall fight in the woods, in the caves. We shall fight in the root cellars, we shall fight in the dark. Uh, shut up. Sir, I will get you some black coffee. You'll get me nothing. I've got beautiful broads at my beck and call. Put yourself together, we must get to the hills. You get to the hills. I got movies to produce. Movies? You? Thanks, violence, nudity.
comedy writer has a muse. You really think so? Oh, boy. So catch all the laughs and fall in love with The Dick Van Dyke Show. Weeknights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Part of smart and catchy sitcoms on Catchy Comedy. Healthy blood pressure and CoQ10 support? It's super convenient thanks to the ingredients in Super Beats. And now, new Super Beats Advanced Heart Chews with a clinically researched dose of CoQ10. Plus, the grapeseed extract you love for two-in-one healthy blood pressure support. Why take CoQ10 separately when you can enjoy twice the benefits and the added power of CoQ10? The choice is simple. We're Super Beats, the number one cardiologist-recommended beat brand for heart health support. Get a free month supply on all bundles at trysuperbeats.com. When I found out about Mixed Tiles, I got so excited with how easy it is. Mixed Tiles are sort of genius. I just peel and stick. Then I slide them around and align them perfectly. And I can always peel them off without damaging my walls. With Mixed Tiles, creating the perfect look for every wall in our home becomes a joyful experience. I just choose the photos I love, design them with a few taps. It's that easy. Get yours today from MixedTiles.com. Ooh, fun. Yikes. The leaky refrigerator coil card. Is that bad? Oh, death! Death? Of an AC fan motor. Oh, no. But your future is bright with an American Home Shield warranty to protect your covered appliances and home systems. Are there bees behind me? My bees escaped. Bill, we talked about this. American Home Shield. Sign up today at AHS.com. Why is everyone talking about navage and nasal irrigation? I am one who suffers from chronic sinus infection. You need to clean that crap out of your nose. The science is simple. Allergens and germs invade through your nose. Navage is an all-natural way to clean your nose using powered suction to flush out allergens, mucus, and viruses. Navage makes nose cleaning easy so you can breathe better, sleep deeper and feel healthier i love this thing it's nice to breathe navage clean nose healthy life waiting till friday to get paid it's tricky then i heard about charm now i get paid two days early no fees early payday guarantees and i can make it to any gig any rehearsal anytime join me at charm.com I got this KitchenAid stand mixer for only $56. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. Spring into savings this moving season with Pods. Save up to 25% now on moving and storage and see why Pods has been trusted with over 6 million moves. But don't wait. Save up to 25% now. Visit Pods.com today. Take a pea-sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? Have you ever considered getting a walk-in tub? Well, look no further. Safe Step's best offer just got better. Now, when you purchase your brand new Safe Step walk-in tub, you'll receive a free shower package. Yes, a free shower package. And if you call today, you'll also receive 15% off your entire order. Now you can enjoy the best of both worlds, the therapeutic benefits of a warm, soothing bath that can help increase mobility, relieve pain, boost energy, and even improve sleep. Or, if you prefer, you can take a refreshing shower all in one product. Call now to receive a free shower package plus 15% off your brand new Safe Step walk-in tub. Call now, 1-800-346-6061. There's never been a better time. That's 1-800-346-6061. You're watching the Beverly Hillbillies on the Catchy Binge. Next weekend, catch up on Green Acres all weekend long, right here on Catchy Comedy. the moment, we are approximately 40,000 feet over Arizona. Where are we going? To see Jed Clappett. You'll feel much better when we get to the hills. Where's that? Well, our first stop will be Shad Heller's blacksmith shop. He'll lend us some horses and we'll ride to Jed's cabin. Oh, no. You're not going to get me on a horse. 
I bleed to death. <laughs> bleed to death? How? I'd have to open my eyes. <laughs> Just leave me under the spreading chestnut tree. <laughs> Well, howdy, Miss Hathaway. Well. It's good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you again, Shad. <laughs> what happened to your friend with the funny hat? Oh, no, that's an ice bag. He's hung over. <laughs> oh, say, I've got a great cure for hangovers. Uh, what, what did he have to drink? Granny's White Lightning. Well, forget it. Yes, I guess time is the only cure. Uh, could I leave him here with you for a while? Sure, I'll look after him. Who is he? His name's Charles Medford. He's with the Department of Energy. <laughs> he looks like he could use some. <laughs> yes. Oh, one more favor, Shad. Just name it. Do you still have that sweet, gentle old nag who used to help you plow? Sure, we're still married. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the horse. Oh, lady, yeah, she's out back. Oh, can I ride her up to Jet's calf? Of course. Do you want her saddled or bareback? Well, bareback's fine if I can change clothes. Oh, no problem. Does Jed know you're coming? No, I haven't been able to contact him yet. Oh, speaking of contact, are you familiar with this gadget? Can't say I am. Well, it's a CB radio. Now, I have one just like it. You keep this, and we can stay in touch with one another. Really? Oh, they're absolutely wonderful. I'll explain it to you while we go get Lady. Oh, thank you. Miss Jane, why don't you set a spell? You must be plum tuckered after all that walking. Oh, thank you, Mr. Clavin. I, I am a bit tired. I sure am sorry that we weren't able to find one of Granny's jugs. Mr. Clavin. Yes? <laughs> I swear I saw that pile of shavings move. Duke? Is that you in there? Come on. <laughs> Time for you to get outside for a little while. Is that the original Duke? No. no. That's his grandson. Uh. Oh. Mr. Clavin, tell me about that figure you're working on. I love wood carvings. Well, then you're going to admire this one. Oh, she is magnificent. Did you carve her? Oh, no. Uh, Pete Engler fetched her over yesterday to kind of give me inspiration. Oh, she is absolutely fabulous. I'll tell Pete you said that. Well, Miss Jane, I sure am sorry that we weren't able to find one of Granny's jugs. Oh, so am I. Well, by any chance, do you know how she made it? No, that is one family secret that was handed down from mother to daughter. Oh. Then the secret died with Granny. No, her ma still makes it. Her ma? Yep. Granny's mother is still alive? She sure is. Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know whether she knows. If she did, she wouldn't tell you. Would you say she's a hundred? Not in front of her, I wouldn't. Well, could I meet her? Does she live here with you? No, she lives in the old lady's home. Oh, yes, yeah, she, she probably needs full-time care. That little woman needs care like a shark needs an upper plate. Well, then, why, why is she... She runs the place. She's in charge of the home. You better believe she's in charge. Does she brew a moonshine there? No, that's too dangerous. And speaking of dangerous, don't ever call it moonshine around her. It's a medicine or tonic. Oh, yes, I remember Granny was very touchy about that. Well, her ma is double touchy. But she does have a still somewhere. Yeah, but she's the only one who knows where. Revenue has been looking for it for better than 80 years. Oh, if I could only get a small sample of her brew. The, 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 the laboratory in Washington Dad! would analyze it, and we'd know why. Dad! Dad! That's Granny's mom. Dad! Now, let me handle her, because she don't cut into strings. Well, should I hide? No, just stay quiet. If she hasn't got her spectacles, likely she'll never see you. Come on in, Ma. Door's over here. Jed, I gotta borrow your hound dog. They run away again. The old ladies? Oh, hags. Shippers, little hussies. Man crazy old maids. Bawdy old biddies. Jezebels, floozies. Sex starved old. Oh, oh, oh. 
that's uh, Jane Hathaway. She's an old friend. You can talk in front of her. Oh, I don't know. She might be too young to hear the shocking story I gotta tell. Here. <sighs> She can hear it. What happened, Ma? Last night, whilst I was asleep, them wicked women snuck a man into their barracks. No. Yep. I found him there at sunup this morning. What did he have to say for himself? Couldn't say nothing. He was unconscious. Oh, that's shameful. Yeah. In a way, I blame myself. Been too easy on them. Giving them their way. Kowtowing to their every whim and fancy. Working my fingers to the bones for them. They've been living too high on the hog, Jed. I've spoiled them rotten. Spare the rod, spoil the old maid. No more. Well, no more, Angel of Mercy. No more Molly Codlin. When I'm done with them old biddies, they'll take their vittles standing up. No more. Calm down. They eats and drinks like queens in a castle. Meat every Sunday. And when I say meat, I mean the best. Possum gizzards. Grits for breakfast. Turnip soup for lunch. And for supper, second and third helpings. Of what? Grits and turnip soup. Maybe if we... They lives in the lap of luxury. And mind you, for free. All I ask is they make their own beds. And I furnish the hammer and nails for that. How do they show their appreciation? They climb through the barbed wire and run away. Well, they won't get fur. Especially barefooted. That hound will pick up their trail. Let me open the back door for you, Mark. Here, Joe! Mr. Clampett, if I may say so, the, the, the old lady's home sounds like a concentration camp, barbed wire, beatings, uh, a starvation diet. No, uh, it ain't that bad. She makes it sound like worse than it is. Now, in the first place... Hey, this is a dandy new hound dog. Big rascal, too. That's Shad Heller's horse you got there, Ma. Is Shad here? I need her to make me some good, stout, strong leg irons for them wild women of mine. Shad ain't here, Ma. Miss Jane rode Lady over from the blacksmith shop. Sorry, I got the wrong critter. I'll tie her up for you, Mr. Clampett. You'll tie who up? The horse, the horse. But you... Come on, dear. Come on, there we go, lady. Come on. Thank you, Miss Jane. Woman, Jed, are you sparking here? No, oh, she's just a good friend. Well, you ought to be sparking somebody. You're still a young buck, tall, good looking, too. <laughs> I know at least three widows give their eye teeth to get their hooks into you. Now, Ma, don't commence that matchmaking again. Well, if I don't do it, who will? You need a wife, Jed Clampett. A good, strong woman to clean and cook and do for you. And I aim to see that you get one. It was the last thing I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? You did, and thank you. Uh, Ma, would you like me to find Duke for you? No, I'm too tuckered out to chase them fool women now. I'm going to set a spell. Have some tonic. Good idea. Tommy? Yeah. I ran all the way over here from Happy Holler. That's better than five miles. Why didn't you drive your car? Them thieving wenches stole my spark plugs. <sighs> A teaspoon of this will set me right. <sighs> Nature's nectar. Good for what ails you. Is that your uh, famous mo uh, 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 medicine? Why do you want to know? Uh, Miss Jean felt like she was coming down with a cold. <laughs> that don't sound like no cold to me. You smoke? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Good. Wouldn't want you lighting up around this stuff. 
Is that all you have? This woman asks a lot of questions, Jed. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Miss Hathaway, Miss Hathaway. I thought you said Chad wasn't here. That's his voice. Can't talk now. I'll call you back. What's going on around here? I tell you, I heard Chad. Ma, uh, I think you're getting overtired. Why don't you try to catch 40 winks? You keep your eyes open from them runaways? You bet I will. Wouldn't surprise me none if they was headed this way. They know they can always get a hand out and a kind word from old softy heart. Oh, Ma, I feel sorry for him. Well, I don't. Just wait till I get my hands on him. He's gonna get a taste of the black strap today. Oh, Fitz. You're right, Jed. She does sound like she's catching cold. He is going to beat those poor women with a black strap. No. Black strap is molasses. Oh. Oh. Hathaway to Heller. Come in, Shad. Is Jed there, Miss Hathaway? It's for you. Right here, Shad. There's been an escape at the old lady's home again. Yeah, Granny's mom told us. Is she there? Well, uh, she's uh, gone to sleep. Good. The runaways passed here a while back, and they're heading your way. I'll keep an eye out for him, Chad. Thanks. Jane Hathaway here again, Chad. How's Mr. Medford? Well, <laughs> he's awake and breathing. But if he was a horse, I'd say he'd been rode hard and put away wet. Poor man. Well, keep in touch. Hathaway out. Well, I caught sight of Moore's runaways, at least five or six of them. Headed this way? Yeah, quick as they wade through the swamp and cut through the briar patch, they'll be here. Why, those poor old women, barefooted, too. Oh, well, they'll need first aid. Ah, they're tough as razorback hogs. Uh, they might look a little messy, but that'll wash off. They can go skinny dipping in the creek. Mr. Clampett, how can you allow those poor, unfortunate creatures to be victims of such, such cruel and unusual treatment? Now, Miss Jane, like I've been trying to tell you, it ain't as bad as Mom makes it. Mr. Clancy, are home? No, you're Come in. Come on in, ladies. Come in. Now, first off, where is the spark plug Samoa's car? Is Ma here? Yeah, but she's uh, sleeping off a dose of tonic. I want you to say howdy to Miss Jane Hathaway. Howdy, howdy Miss Jane. Howdy. howdy. Well, you are the uh, inmates of the old lady's home? Yes, I am. How old are you, my dear? Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, and, uh, how old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh. Well, and, uh, and you, huh? Oh, please don't make me tell. She's 21. <laughs> 21. Now, here is, uh, soap and towels. I want you ladies to get down to the creek and clean yourselves up. Fine. And don't worry about Ma. She's gonna sleep for quite a while. Uh, Heather, just a minute. You better take this with you. You could get a mite chilly. Thank you. When our 
Archie's angry. He keeps it all in the family. Eat it, Gloria, meathead. <laughs> Weeknight starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Part of Norman Lear's Catchy Classics. Where, where? On Catchy Comedy. I've got good news. There is a murderer <gasps> walking among us. Fantastic. I'm sorry, what? She watches a lot of true crime. Welcome to the family. There's so much new stuff happening out there. I just can't keep up. Well, it's too far to swim back now. This is amazing. I promise you, I'll not let you down. Stream the best of British TV only on BritBox. Watch with a free trial at BritBox.com. Everybody's talking about berberine, and it really does work. So you need to try Doctor's Preferred Gluco Gold. This all-in-one formula contains the full research dose of berberine that helps keep your blood sugar in the normal range, plus three other powerful ingredients. It's made a great difference in my life. Gluco Gold is flying off shelves nationwide, but now's your chance to try a complimentary bottle by texting BASK to 321321. It keeps my sugar levels right where I want it. Gluco Gold will help you maintain healthy blood sugar levels while it supports healthy cholesterol and insulin sensitivity guaranteed. Take the first step to making sure your next checkup is better than your last and hearing those three wonderful words. Blood sugar, normal. You can only get your complimentary bottle by texting BASK to 321321. Plus, text right now and you'll receive a bottle of vitamin D3 immune support absolutely free. Doctors preferred. Better science. Better results. This irresistible gift, just moments before, was filled with delicious snacks from Nuts.com. Create your own combination for Mother's Day or choose from Nuts.com's favorite gift baskets and tins with every flavor of happy. Get 20% off plus free shipping on your first order. Take a pea-sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. And this Nintendo Switch sold for less than $20. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. When you're feeling hot, it's difficult to sleep, impossible to focus, and downright agonizing no matter where you are. You try fans, but that just blows hot air around. What you need is Arctic Air Pure Chill, the new personal space cooler that super cools your place in just seconds. Just add water and turn it on. Pure Chill lasts up to 10 hours and has three Arctic settings, so you'll always find the coolest one. Pure Chill is whisper quiet for the most comfortable night's sleep with fresh, chilled air. Look, using thermal imaging, you can actually see it cool down the air by 20 degrees. Amazing! Place Pure Chill in the garage and never break a sweat. Stay cool while you cook and finally breathe easy as Pure Chill cools and humidifies your room. The secret, our advanced water delivery system combined with Hydro Chill technology to turn hot, unbearable heat into cool, refreshing air. You can even take it outside to beat the summer heat. No more odor-killing sprays or bulky fans. Pure Chill is lightweight, and our exclusive True Shield filter helps remove the nastiest odors. Watch it clear out this smelly smoke with ease. Arctic air is sure to please. And with six different light colors, there's nothing else like it on the market. Why spend hundreds on an air conditioner when you can get Arctic Air Pure Chill for just $39.99? And for more comfort, we'll send you a second Pure Chill free. Just pay a separate fee. We'll even ship it for free. That's two Pure Chills for one low price. So don't sweat it out. Chill out with Arctic Air Pure Chill. Order now. Call 1-877-446-4113 or go online at arcticarepurechill.com. Call 1-877-446-4113 or go online at arcticarepurechill.com. Order now. I do not understand what they are doing in an old lady's home. Why, those are beautiful young girls. By city standards, maybe, but hereabouts is old maids. Unbelievable. In the hills, uh, prime marrying age is 14, 15, 16, uh, maybe 17 if her pa is well fixed. Incredible. But uh, if a girl gets to be 18, 19, or better, and ain't married, I'm afraid she's just out of luck. 
Then it's off to the old lady's home. Afraid so. Just had the way he said here. <clears throat> come in, Chad. Mr. Medford would like to speak to you. Oh, come in, sir. How are you? Yeah. I think this blacksmith has been using my head for an anvil. <laughs> well, cheer up. I have good news for you. Granny's mother still makes white lightning. Really? Oh. Yes, right here in these hills. I have a motto, Miss Hathaway. A man's best friend is always somebody's mother. Well, you stay where you are. I'll, I'll be over shortly. <laughs> now, hold on, Miss Jane. Uh, you ain't gonna leave me here with a bunch of naked women, are you? Naked women? I thought we left Hollywood. Bit of a problem here. I'll get back to you. Hathaway, over and out. Excuse me. Where is this place? What's the nearest town? No town you ever heard of. Mr. Heller, I know these United States like the back of my hand. I defy you to name a town I've never heard of. All right. Bug Tussle. Bug Tussle? Oh, come on. Name some big towns. Blue Eye. Try me again. Quincy. One more time. Pixley. Oh, those aren't towns. They're diseases. Come in, Chad. Hathaway here. Yes, ma'am. Chad here. Chad, if Mr. Clappett brings you the spark plugs for Moss Car, do you think you can get it started? I can sure try, but that thing's older than I am. I'll meet you at the old lady's home, Chad. Right, Chad. You can keep in touch with Miss Hathaway on that gadget. I won't be long. It's not part of Happy Hollow. Stop! Oh, Happy Hollow? Now, there's a town I've heard of. That's not a town. It's the old lady's home. I think it run better without the spark plug, Shad. I'll tune it up and drive it over to your cabin. Well, I'll appreciate that. Mr. Clampett. Yes, sir? My name is Charles Medford. I accompanied Miss Hathaway from Washington, D.C. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Medford. Uh, any friend of Miss Hathaway's is a friend of mine. Thank you. She tells me that Granny's mother still makes white lightning. She has been known to stir off a batch. You suppose she'd stir off a batch for Miss Hathaway and me? You two getting married? Good heavens, no. Well, then I'm afraid you're out of luck. She only makes it for medicine or special celebrations like weddings. Suppose I tell her that I work for the United States government and I order her to make it. Well, then we'll see that you get a real nice funeral. I have a motto, Mr. Clampett. The man who scorns fear wears a coat of steel. And I have one for you, Mr. Medford. The man who scorns maw wears a box of wood. There's something you hill people don't seem to realize. What's that, Mr. Medford? Back in Washington, I'm a very big man. <laughs> You're a fair-sized target around here, too. Oh, come in, come in. I didn't want to walk in on no half-dressed females. Oh, no, no, no. No, the girls decided to walk back to Happy Hollow while Ma was still asleep. Oh, did you get a chance to visit with them? Yes, I did. It was very interesting. Those are very talented young ladies. I mean, they sing, they dance, they play musical instruments. That's the part I didn't have time to tell you. They learned all that from Ma. They did? Yep. She was the square dance champion of the county for over 40 years. Ma? Also took blue ribbons for fiddle and harmonica playing. No wonder those girls are so accomplished. That's why Ma likes a wedding celebration. Gives her a chance to show off her happy holler hoofers and harmonizers. Oh, I... Hope we can have a wedding. <laughs> she might even stir off a batch if the right folks was getting married. Hallelujah! <laughs>
Oh, I'm so happy. No. I'm going to stir off a batch of tonic. Where's the wind? I want to age it a few hours. No. Ma, will you listen a minute? Miss Jane ain't marrying me. As a matter of fact... Who's she marrying? Oh, uh, 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 uh Mr. Mr. Medford? Mr. Uh, Char Charles Medford, mm -hmm. Medford? Who's he? Oh, you remember old Charlie Medford. Old Charlie Medford? Where's he from? Uh, east. East of here, a uh, place called uh, Washington. D.C. That stands for uh, dairy country, uh, lots of cows. Is he a fertilizer? Up to his eyebrows. Funny, I can't place him. Gunshots. Revenuers, give me your shotgun jet. It's your car, Ma. Chad Heller's got it running. One in, Chad. I left it idly, Judge. That rascal's hard to start. Oh, thank you, Chad. I've done the best I could, Ma, but that old wreck's about to fall apart. Oh, nonsense. That's what they said about me. Last year, I won the dancing contest. And I'm still going. You are, for a fact. We's gonna have a wedding celebration, Chad. Who's getting married? Jane Hathaway and a feller named Charlie Medford. Ever meet him? Why, yeah, he's over at my blacksmith shop right now. Oh, I hope he's a big, strong fella, because he sure picked a big, strong wife. Well, yeah, Charlie's a real whopper. Good. I'm going to stir off a big batch of tonic for the celebration. It's going to be a humdinger. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Hathaway. Funny Mr. Medford didn't say nothing. He doesn't know about it yet. Are you insane? I am not getting married. It is the only way we can get Ma to stir up a batch of white lightning, right, Chad? She's right, Mr. Medford. You're committed. You're the ones who should be committed. I am not getting married. Do you want to go back to Washington and face the president? No. But I also don't want to go back to Georgetown and face my mother. All right, the choice is yours. You can go back a failure, or you can go back a husband. I can't disappoint the chief. Then get married. I am talking about my mother. Oh. On the other hand, I have never failed my country. I have served successfully under nine presidents. Nine presidents? That's right. FDR, HST, DDE, JFK, LBJ, RMN, GRF, JEC, and RWR. Well, get ready for JNH. Who? Jean Nancy Hathaway. Chad, do you know where I can get a wedding gown? Yes, Molly's still got hers. Oh. No, hold on. I have not proposed. Well, it looks as though we might have a shotgun wedding. Or a moonshine wedding. What's that? We pour some moonshine down your throat. Oh, no! No, not that. I surrender. Miss Hathaway? Yes, Mr. Medford? W-Y-M-M. -M. Say it. Well, 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 you, will I, what? Marry me. Oh, this is so sudden, I shall need time to think it over. Good. That's enough. Yes. You folks want a double ring ceremony? Why? I need to know whether to bend one horseshoe nail or two. You make wedding rings out of horseshoe nails? They bring good luck. Evidence to the contrary notwithstanding. Oh, make two, Shad. Uh, I'll run and try on my wedding gown. <laughs> How can I send a telegram to my mother? Don't send a telegram. She'll think somebody in the family died. If that were only true, I still don't know where I am. I can tell you exactly where you are now. Good. As you government fellows would say, you're UCWP. Thank you.
up the creek without a paddle. It takes brains, good taste, nice legs, and laughter to make it here. Laverne and Shirley, weekdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Dupixent can help people with asthma breathe better in as little as two weeks. So this is better. Even this. Dupixent is an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma that's not for sudden breathing problems. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Tell your doctor right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change your stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Ask your specialist about Dupixent. Take a pea-sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? Um, are you certain he'll fit? Sure. Are you for imprint certain? Mm -hmm. Certainty matters. When you need certain promo gear, you can be certain for imprints got it. Quality apparel? Got it. Drinkwear? Got it. Bags? High tech? Outdoor? Got it, got it, got it. So go get it at 4imprint.com. For imprint for certain. In just one year, I had over $900 in banking fees. I had enough. I switched to Chime. There's no overdraft fees, no monthly fees. I'm saving hundreds for my daughter's future. For a normal guy like me, I've given myself a small raise. Join me at Chime.com. I love my work caring for people. I often assist women who struggle with urinary incontinence, women who have fallen trying to reach the bathroom, or who have damaged skin from too much wetness. It can take a toll on them. At home, I worried for my mother. A lack of sleep due to bladder leakage affected her life. That's why I'm so glad the Purex system is available for home use. It's an innovative option for women who experience moderate to severe bladder leakage. This external system uses a soft, flexible wick placed outside the body to draw urine away from the body and into a collection canister. It's non-invasive and designed to keep the skin dry and stay in place. We trust it to help her throughout the night so we're all better rested and can enjoy the things we love together. Order yours online at purewickathome.com or call 800-805-9461. Call 800-805-9461 today. I got this KitchenAid stand mixer for only $56. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. Eagle's and ass. Eagle's and ass. Come in, Eagle. Did you find Mars still? Uh, 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 not, not, not yet. Well, why don't you call yourself Pigeon? Look, Chief, I know she's stirring up a batch. I mean, I, I can smell the mash brewing. You've been smelling Mars still for 40 years, and your father for 40 years before you. Now stop wasting government money and come on in. Oh, oh Chief, you just let me call Pete on the CB. I mean, maybe he got wind of it, too. All right. Well, you're laying your last egg. If Maude smarts you this time, you're taking retirement. Now, do you understand? Yes, yes. Over and out. So in order to get Maude's moonshine, a, a medicine Charles has proposed. Is Maude stirring off a batch? Yep. Good. We'll get the license today. Uh, can we have the wedding tomorrow? Yep. How about three in the afternoon? Will I give Maude time to age the stuff? Yep. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. See you tomorrow. Over and out. Eagle's nest! Eagle's nest! Eagle's nest! Oh, come in, pigeon. Chief, I just intercepted a couple of CBs. Ma is cooking off a batch for a wedding tomorrow. Where's she gonna be? I, I don't know that. Well, who's getting married? Uh, I don't know that neither. Ooh, congratulations! I got a surefire idea how to find out. I, be, I tell you, she can't miss. I am going to contact every preacher in these here hills. I mean, I, t I tell you, even if it takes me all night. <laughs> Who's going to be the preacher, Jed? Ain't going to be no preacher, Ma. No, 
No preacher? Nope. You mean the wedding's called off? No, no. I'm bringing in the judge to decide or not. How come? So there won't be no religious squabble between the bride and the groom. What you mean? Well, she's a dunker and he's a sprinkler. Oh. Oh, yeah. But she is right. Never did believe in sprinkling. To be saved, you gotta be pushed clean under washing the blood of the lamb, just like it says in the hymn. People says that sprinkling is just as good. Don't know what they're talking Now, simmer down, Ma. You see, that's the reason we ain't gonna have a preacher. Who's the judge gonna be? Clay Canwell? No, he's on a fishing trip. I'm bringing over somebody from Stone County, uh, Gary Gillum. Never heard of him. That's what you said about the groom, good old Charlie Medford. Good old Charlie Medford. Oh, Charlie Medford. Still can't place that goomer. Ma, guess who's going to play for the celebration? Who? Earl Scruggs and his boy. No. Yeah. Ain't nobody picks a banjo like Earl. That's the truth. You going to have your old ladies all primed to sing and dance for it? You betcha. I'm even letting them wear shoes. Yee-haw! We're gonna have us a wing ding. in my office? I did. You want to make something of it? What can I make out of an ape? A movie producer. He can't be no movie producer. Why not? Because he don't smoke cigars. Here, J.B. Wait a minute. He ain't J.B. I'm J.B., the one and only J.B. There ain't room in Hollywood for the two of us. What do you think of that? <laughs> that does it. The Producers Guild's gonna hear about this. I'm calling Al Simon. Who's Al Simon? Who's Al Simon? You hear that? <laughs> Who's Al Simon? Listen here, ape woman. You take your hairy friend here and get out of my office. Says who? Says me and get off my movie lot. And who's gonna make me? I am. And who else? Nobody else. I fight one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Put him up. You heard her. Put him up. If a new touch of hair on my friend, I want you more ways than Kraut lays in a barrel. Now, wait a minute, Ellie. Excuse me, J.B., there's an important call for you. You ain't the J.B. she's calling. Give me that phone. Linda, come in here. J.B., Ellie May, I just had a call from Molly Heller back in the hills. Jane Hathaway and Mr. Medford are getting married this afternoon. Well, I'd like to go to the wedding. So would I. Well, let's go, cousin. You're on, cousin. Hey, J.B., you stay here and make yourself a movie. And make it a blockbuster. to be seen in this outfit, let alone be married in it. You're supposed to be a dairy farmer. Go walk around the barn a few times. I've got nothing on my feet. 
<laughs> you will have after you walk around the barn. Here comes pride, all dressed in white. La rum to party, ti 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 ti. Rum rum rum, ti 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 ti. Oh, Charles, dear, you look absolutely lovely. I demand equal rights. I want to veil, too. Chet? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jed, did Molly get there? She sure did, and I'm mighty grateful. She took right over. Your wife seems to know all about weddings. Oh, women are born knowing about weddings. Yeah, I reckon you're right. I better give Molly a hand. She ain't the tallest woman in the hills. But she's all quality. I'll see you at the wedding. Let me give you a hand, Molly. I think I got a little height on you. <laughs> Thank you, Jed. I'm just about done. How's it look? Well, that's mighty pretty. Mighty pretty. Well, I think it'll do for a hurry-up wedding. <laughs> Speaking of which, tell me more about the bride and groom. I hardly know them. Well, Jane Hathaway is a good friend from back in the Beverly Hills days. Uh, I don't know too much about the groom myself. Would you say it's true love? A marriage made in heaven? Well, just between you and me, I would say that this one was made in Washington, D.C. <laughs> well, it's going to be time for the folks to arrive. Anything else we got to do? Let's go inside and see. What's that? Oh, that's a wood carving I've been working on. Finally got it done and painted. Can I see it? Well, I appreciate you looking at it, Molly. You being an artistic type. <laughs> supposed to look like Granny. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That is a work of art. You've just captured Granny to a tea. I didn't know you was that good. Well, I've been whittling all my life. Finally whittling something worthwhile. I don't see how in the world you did it. I just took a little log and uh, cut away everything didn't look like Granny. <laughs> that must be more. I don't want her to see this is supposed to be a surprise. Jed, she'll love it. They all have fun. But behave yourself. Yep. She fetched along a whole car load of old maids for the wedding. I hope one of them catches a bridal bouquet. I hope so, too. <laughs> well, Molly, thanks to you, looks like we're ready. Oh, yes, I do love weddings. Calling Chief Eagle to Chief. Come in, Chicken Hawk. Uh, chicken Hawk? Well, that's the only bird I know that eats crow. Look, uh, Chief, I got a new lead. But I don't want to hear it. Uh, Earl Scruggs and his boys flew in from Nashville, hired a bus, and headed for the hills. Oh, that's a dandy lead. All we got to do is follow a trail of banjo picks. Uh, Chief. I want you back here within an hour. Chief. Over and out. Uh, uh, Earl's a good friend of Jed Clampett. Now, maybe the wedding's gonna... Uh, uh Chief, I, I said, maybe the wed... Kills this woman to be married to this man? I do, Judge. Charles David Medford, will you take Jane Nancy Hathaway to be your lawfully wedded wife? If so, answer, I will. Is it over? No, say I will. I will what? I will. will. Uh, Jane Nancy Hathaway, will you take Charles David Medford to be your lawfully wedded husband? I will. The rings, please. Charles David Medford, place your ring on the finger of your bride. Jane Nancy Hathaway, place your ring on the finger of your groom. It's where everybody knows your name. Give me a dress. <laughs> 
Cheers, every weeknight at 11 p.m. Eastern. Part of smart and catchy sitcoms. Just so catchy. On Catchy Comedy. Everybody's talking about berberine, and it really does work. So you need to try Doctor's Preferred Gluco Gold. This all-in-one formula contains the full research dose of berberine that helps keep your blood sugar in the normal range, plus three other powerful ingredients. It's made a great difference in my life. Gluco Gold is flying off shelves nationwide. But now's your chance to try a complimentary bottle by texting BASK to 321321. It keeps my sugar levels right where I want it. Gluco Gold will help you maintain healthy blood sugar levels while it supports healthy cholesterol and insulin sensitivity guaranteed. Take the first step to making sure your next checkup is better than your last and hearing those three wonderful words. Blood sugar, normal. You can only get your complimentary bottle by texting BASK to 321321. Plus, text right now and you'll receive a bottle of vitamin D3 immune support absolutely free. Doctors Preferred. Better science. Better results. Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm a Mixed Styles mom. Mixed Styles allows me to cherish the most beautiful moments of my family, like Jenny's first day of school, and her second, and third. Wow, that, that's a lot of Mixed Styles. You just peel and stick. And Jessica, who just started taking ballet classes. I stay ballet. She's into soccer now. So I upload photos straight from my phone, choose the size and style, and that's it. But look, it leaves no damage. Go to MixedStyles.com and order yours today. Take a pea-sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? DealDash.com, online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. And this Nintendo Switch sold for less than $20. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. I received a call from a life alert dispatcher. He told me that my mom activated the life alert and she was having chest pain and he had dispatched the paramedics out to the house. 70% of the people with the same type of blockage that my mom had in her heart die. But because life alert acted quickly, the paramedics were able to get to my mom. She was able to get immediate medical attention and her life was saved. Life alert saves a life every 11 minutes. With one simple touch of a button, life alert sends help immediately. Whether it's to report a fall, a medical emergency, or an intruder, life alert sends first responders fast. The most trusted name in emergency response services. For information or a free brochure, call 1-800-617-1940. 1-800-617-1940. Hi, Grandma. I played baseball today. Oh, that's great. What position did you play? First base. <gasps> That's what my grandpa used to play. <laughs> when our hearing wouldn't allow us to use a regular phone, it made us feel isolated. It became difficult to communicate with our friends and family. Clear Captions was an easy solution for us. Clear Captions provides captions on a phone like captioning on your TV, so you can see what the caller is saying live as they say it. Making it easy to understand and respond immediately. There is no insurance or Medicare required. Clear Caption service is provided at no cost to you through a federally funded program. We deliver, install, and train you on how to use your phone, all at no cost to you. Give your loved ones the independence and connection they deserve. Call now to see if you qualify to get a Clear Captions phone at no cost to you. Call 1-800-714-9667. That's 1-800-714-9667.
expecting already. Well, do do do. Congratulations, Miss Hathaway. Oh, Mrs. Medford. <laughs> right. Oh, thank you. And thank you for flying all the way from Nashville just for my wedding. My pleasure. And Louise sends her best, too. Oh, uh, excuse me, Earl, but uh, I claim the right to be the first to kiss a bride. Oh! <laughs> well. <laughs> I gotta talk to you alone. Uh, Earl, uh, would you and your boys play something bright and happy? You bet we will, Jed. Good. Miss Jean, uh, I hope you'll forgive me if I ask you a very personal question. Why, of course. Go right ahead. Did you and that government man really want to get married? Well, uh, to be quite honest, uh, no, no, we didn't. Well, to be quite honest, you ain't. But we were declared man and wife by a county judge. Uh, he's a county judge, all right. He judges the livestock at the county fair. Well, then why? What in the... Well, I just kind of figured that you was only doing it to get some of Ma's white lightning. And here it is. You can take it back to Washington with you. Uh... Oh, Mr. Clappett, you are wonderful! Now be careful, that's the pure stuff. Walk all around the left hand lady. See, saw you play a little dog. Join and make a ring. Sing a little left, like a little thing. Suck a little left. Circle it right the other way round. The big foot up, the little foot down. Now you're home and everybody swing. Now the man on the left leg like swinging on a vine. Right here, honey, go down the line. Down the line, and the heat and cold. Stuck on here, he's stuck on Joe. Promenade your red wagon. You have to go on Bill Dragon. Get her on home. Circle half of the gun, two gun, three hits on our tea outside, and we're duck and dive, and they go like thunder. Duck and dive, and duck and dive, walk right along, and they keep alive. Duck and dive, and duck and dive, five, two, on to the next circle half. Dive, two, to the next, four, two, circle half of the gun, two gun, three hits on our tea outside, and we're duck and dive, and they go like thunder. Duck and dive, duck and dive, walk right along, and they keep alive. One more dive, home you go, and everybody swing. Down and a left leg swinging on a vine, right here, honey, go down the line, down the line, on the heat of the toes, step along, Mary, step along, Joe. I'm an angel, red bag, and I'm so full, I'm real dragon, get her on home. Circle, up, will lead to the right, circle, half of the boat, two, but the lead's all right, the outside of the boat, she's going to be done. Oh, Mr. Clavin, how can I get to the blacksmith's shop? My clothes are there. Well, don't you want to stay and dance, Charlie? I never felt less like dancing in my entire life. Well, how soon can I get you a ride? Uh. Charles, dear, you'll cheer up when you see our wedding present. Pure white lightning. Oh, saints be praised. At last, the grail, it's all mine. <laughs> Whose? Ours, ours. Ours? Who? Ours, Miss Hathaway. No, that is no longer my name. Ours, Mrs. Med. Ours, Mrs. M Forgive me, Mother, Mrs. Medford. Sir Galahad himself never endured what I have to attain this. Why, Charles, you sound as though you're not happily married. Well... I may ask for an annulment. Granted, it's all yours. Marriage annulled. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm afraid that is up to the judge. I... I shall speak to him. Well, plead with him, beg him, explain our marriage has not been consummated. You haven't met Mother. You romantic devil. <laughs> I have captured the Errol Flynn of Georgetown, and he wants an annulment. Here, please. You can take this back to Washington and claim complete credit for breaking the bonds of our energy enslavement. Instead of Medford's miracle, it will be known as Hathaway's Haymaker. You would make that sacrifice to gain your freedom. So help me, Hannah. Arise, Sir Charles. Arise, a free man. Henceforth, we are once again wed only to your career. You mean it? I shall speak to the judge immediately, and you may retain the grail. It shall remain Medford's miracle. Oh, Charlie, Jed says you want to lift to Shad's place. Yes, Ma, please. Now dine, see the next to the next circle, and the little chip under the inside of the Ma, I got 
you at last! Who's he? He's Andy Miller. He's been trying to catch me all his life and his paw before that. <laughs> oh, mister, what you got in that jar? If it's any of your business, this is the solution to our country's energy crisis, Mars White Lightning. <laughs> all right, I'll take it. Oh, for my dead body. If that's the way you want it. But I warn you, interfering with a government official is a serious matter. You hold this. Now, see here, good man. I'm the ranking government official here. I'm on special assignment authorized by the President of the United States. Oh, well, so the President sent you, huh? That's right. Well. Oh, <laughs> these are not my regular clothes. I only dress like this for my wedding. If you... Who is this clown, Mom? Name's old Charlie Medford. He's in fertilizer. <laughs> oh, he sure is. Now, Ma, I'm taking you and that white lightning into town. Don't surrender that job, Ma. I'm warning you, you stay out of this. Now, see here, Mike, I can have one you. One more word. Calm down, calm down. I'll go quietly, Andy. I know when I'm licked. You finally got the best of me. Oh, I never thought I would live to hear them words. Oh, wait until the chief hears this. Please, don't let him have that job. Hush, 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 stay where you are. I know what I'm doing. Eagle the chief. Uh, Eagle the chief. Come in, chief. You come in, knucklehead. Chief, I caught my red-handed. I'm bringing her in. Any evidence? I've got a whole fruit jar full of evidence. So help. Me, Andy, if you blow it this time, I'm going to personally string you up on the courthouse lawn. I swear by everything sacred, this time I've got to. Now, see, look, you, you go tell Dad. Uh, get somebody to wheel him over to the courthouse. Oh, I want my daddy there to see this. Now, look, get a photographer, and I, I tell you, this will be the biggest news since World War One. <laughs> Wait a minute.
chief. That looked like Ma. Where's Ma? I thought she was under arrest. So did I. That looked like Andy. It was Andy. Reckon he'll catch Ma? Reckon he better. It's a dead end street. Secret about Andy? What is it? He ain't too bright. That ain't no secret. There goes Ma. I saw her. Andy didn't catch her. I know. What's that? Andy ought to retire. He just did. Catch the off couple. That's the reason you've got pain. You're the reason I have pain. Weekdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, right here on Catchy Comedy. Ooh, fun. Yikes. The leaky refrigerator coil card. Is that bad? Oh, death! Death? Of an AC fan motor. Oh, no. But your future is bright with an American Home Shield warranty to protect your covered appliances and home systems. Are there bees behind me? My bees escaped. Bill, we talked about this. American Home Shield. Don't worry, be warranty. When I found out about mixed tiles, I got so excited with how easy it is. Mixed tiles are sort of genius. I just peel and stick. Then I slide them around and align them perfectly. And I can always peel them off without damaging my walls. With mixed tiles, creating the perfect look for every wall in our home becomes a joyful experience. I just choose the photos I love, design them with a few taps. It's that easy. Get yours today from MixedTiles.com. Take a pea-sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? Over one million people have put Super Beats by Human blood pressure support supplements to the test. And the numbers tell the story. We have over 80,000 five-star ratings and reviews. We're trusted by over 120 pro and college sports teams. Super Beats is the number one selling beat brand. The only number one doctor, pharmacist, and cardiologist recommended beat brand for heart health support. See why we've won the hearts of people across America. And get a free month supply on all bundles at superbeats.com. I got this KitchenAid stand mixer for only $56. DealDash.com. Online auctions since 2009. This PlayStation 5 sold for only 50 cents. This iPad Pro sold for less than $34. Go to DealDash.com and see how much you can save. If anyone has told you that gaining weight, feeling tired, and struggling with nagging digestive and joint issues is just a part of getting older, they are wrong. My name is Dr. Stephen Gundry, and after years of struggling with these same issues, I found a new way to support my health at home by making one simple change to my diet. It's called BioComplete 3. BioComplete 3 works by restoring your gut health from the inside out. This is a major part of how I lost 70 pounds and have kept the weight off for 25 years. It's not just me. This is working for everybody. Joe helped his gut health, and you can see the changes, not just how he looks on the outside, but how much better he felt on the inside. I was 270. I'm now 140. It just feels amazing. Thank you, Dr. Gundry. I helped all these people achieve incredible changes to their weight, their digestion, even their skin. And for a limited time, you can try BioComplete 3 risk-free for 90 days. Go to guthealthsecret.com. Yeah. That's it, Jed. The last drop. Ain't much more than half a swallow. You want to finish it off? <laughs> Wish I was mad enough. Me too. 
I think I'll take it out and cut it with a bucket of spring water. Say, Jed, Molly was telling me about your wood carving the granny. You mind if I see it? Not at all, not at all. I value your opinion. See if you recognize it. Oh, Jed, you whittling son of a gun. That is beautiful. Think we all like it? She'll love it. What a nice thing for you to do. I enjoyed it. That's a helicopter. Yeah. Do you reckon Andy Miller's chasing Ma in one of them things now? Could be. He chased her and about everything else. Whoever it is, they're landing in your backyard. Sure sounds like it. I'll be doggone. Look who's getting out of that who, thing. Who? Well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Take a look for yourself. You're right. I, I don't believe it. Howdy, Paul. Howdy, Jed. Hey, me. Good to see you. I'm glad to be here, Paul. You're as pretty as ever, Ellie. Oh, thanks, Jed. Hey, it's kind of dark in here, Uncle Jed. Well, take off your glasses, boy. And stomp out that cigar. There's white lightning in here. <coughs> well, glad you could make it, Jethro. Me too. It's good to see you, old brush ape. Yeah, feeling good. Uh, you're still growing. Howdy, Shad. Howdy, Jethro. Hey, did we make it in time for Miss Jane's wedding? No, but you made it in time for the celebration. They're dancing up a storm out front. Everybody wanted to see who's in the helicopter. <laughs> Jethro and me, congratulations, Miss Jane. I mean, Mrs. Jane. Uh, yeah, we heard you done married that government man. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm sorry you missed it. It was a lovely ceremony. Where is Mr. Maverick? Oh, Ma drove him over to Shaz to change his clothes. <laughs> Thanks to you. Here, Charles, drink this. No! Mash them up 
and stir in some stump water and turpentine and be quick about it. You're going to make him drink that? Jed, get this nurse out of here. They's the bane of a doctor's existence. They think they know something just because they wear a white dress. You're talking to a genuine M.D. M.D.? Mountain doctor. Oh, yes, ma'am. But, but surely you're not going to make him drink that horrible concoction. That what? Uh, medicine, medicine. Of course not. I'm going to poultice him. Jed, if you can find a big, mean timber rattler, bring him to me, alive. Well, that's pretty dangerous, doctor. Just grab him behind the head, but be quick. What do you aim to do with a rattlesnake? I aim to threaten this nurse so she'll be quiet during the operation. Operation? There she goes again. You really think you have to operate on him? I want a second opinion. Mm. He's coming, too. Mm. I think he's going to be all right. You think? When did you go to medical school? Oh, I'm sorry, doctor. When you get out of Harvard like me, then you can say something. You went to Harvard? Please, not so loud. Oh, Charles, you're awake. You'll be fine now. I'm withdrawn from this case. I've had enough of you quacks. Us Harvard doctors don't need this kinder aggravation. This is my last house call. Well, don't go away mad, doctor. Wait till you get my bill. You'll see who's mad. Oh, uh, send the bill to Mr. Medford, care of the president. Did you hear that, Jed? She wants me to send the bill to Jefferson Davis. Mr. Clamber, did Ma actually go to Harvard? She sure did. The Harvard? That's right. That's my alma mater. I graduated at the age of 20. Well, Ma got out of Harvard when she was 12. 12? Are you sure you're talking about the Harvard that has been famous for 300 years? That's the one. Little Red Schoolhouse, over east of Bug Tussle. Oh. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. And they would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. From Ellie Mae and Jethro, from Granny's Ma as well. Here's an invitation to come back and set a spell. We'd also like to say goodbye before our visit's through. To Jane and Mr. Medford, to Shad and Linda too. And if you should come back again, the door will have no latch. And maybe Ma will treat us all by steering off a batch. A fun, that is. Y'all stay well, you hear?